In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Ford Cargo 1846T for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Ford Cargo 1846T for uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, guys, uh, this is, uh, just before we go on, it's this is at the man dealer for Euro Truck Simulator 2. There we are, the MAN dealer. Now, I know you're looking at it and you're going, oh my god, Senior, what is this you're bringing us? Now, okay, I, I the thing is, right, is I review mods for what I see them as, okay? So... I, I've never driven a Ford Cargo, I don't own a Ford Cargo, I've never sat in a Ford Cargo, but I'm reviewing this as a mod, okay, so... And if you if people are going to do mods that look like this, then, you know, they got to be prepared for it, so... Yeah, anyway, so this is the latest version, uh, uh, patch 128, and this was said that it was meant to be for 128, so that's why we're having a look at it. So let's check out what we get with it. So first of all, there is the, it says there's three different pieces there. So the XL, XLX, and the XXL. This has basically got the, the MAN, and it's gone and, you know, made it into what this is. I don't know what to call it, to be honest. Uh, another thing to watch out for as well with this is it does mess up your scanners as well. For some strange reason, it messes up scanner, scanners. Now, uh, moving on to the chassis, we get this 4x2, the 6x2, the 624, 62 tag lift, 64 mid lift, and 64. To me, it looks all the same. It's just up and down, up and down, up and down. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I dumb dumbfounded, guys. But anyway. <laughs> Let's move on to engines. Uh, we've got the, the three, 320 horsepower, 360, uh, and then it goes all the way up to the 600 horsepower. Uh, I'm just going to put in the 320. And now the transmissions. We've got 12 speed, 6 speed, 12 speed. Uh, so, you know, we've got this 4500 and the ZF. So, look, I'm going to put the 4500 in. Why not? Uh, now the interior, it is basically just ripped off the MAN uh, interior, both the standard and UK. However, the exclusive is... Oh, okay, so now it's changed. It must be... Let's go back to the chassis. Alright, back to interior. Okay, well it's making a liar out of me. What's happening here? Um, I had it before where it had its... There it is. It, there we go. It's not... There we go. I, I, I was... I have got the interior that it's meant to have. So there we go. It was the chassis was, was messing it up. Sorry, the not the chassis. The cabin. The cabin was messing it up. So... There you go. Uh, that's what the problem was. So it does come with your standard MAN interiors. And then it, you know, it has the interior for the cargo which uh we would ease and i were and and ease and i and drew were talking about this drew Splack were talking about this before i started recording and we all agreed that this just looks like a car interior for some reason definitely needs a bit of work so yeah uh now let's have a look at the paint jobs and there we go there's your paint jobs so it's sort of working uh, don't bother about using any of the skins because none of these actually work. So, uh, oh, your metallic. We can we can try the metallic. You know, it's a shame because this here would look like a really good truck if it was working properly, but for some strange reason, it's just not working. So, uh, let's have a look at the second color there and then the third color. Yep, look, metallic works. That's great. So there are some good points, just some bad points so let's put it on that one there there we go um now going to the lower grill guard there's some bits and pieces there to show you but um yeah it's not quite right so and then we go over to there to the 
Oh, look, see? Ah, oh, now it's starting to show. Look at that. That we're starting to click the bits and pieces. It's starting to show now. Ah. Well, that's interesting. Um, the main mirrors there, they're a bit funny, but we can actually fix those. And we just have to go to those ones there. So it's just a matter of putting on the right bits and pieces to make it look right. So there we go. Um, going to put on that there, and we'll put on some uh, put on some lights. How about that? Make it look a bit, bit more dressed up, shall we? Try to anyway. Uh, now down to the rims. It is basically just your standard rims that you can put on here, which we'll put on there. And I'm going to put on. Let's see what can we put on there. Um, American, no, let's, we'll put on standard, standard chrome, where is standard gloss, no, did I miss it? Standard, standard gloss, standard paint, we'll just standard gloss will do, that'll do. It still looks, it still looks good with standard gloss on there. Now we'll put some chrome nuts on there, there's no steel nuts, there we go. And a cover, just put that solid one on there, there we go. Up to the back here, go to, there we go, Michelin tires, dark silver, standard gloss, there we go. The nuts, we'll just put on those steel ones. There's no gloss nuts, is there? No. And then the hub, we'll go and put on, what should we put on? No, not that one, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Uh, that one there, there we go. Alright, so we'll try and dress it up a bit, make it look a bit presentable. Uh, but that, at the moment, is pretty much it. Now, for the interior, um, the mirrors are there, don't change them. That is the footstep, which I don't believe you could change that on the outside, but you can for some reason on the inside. So what happens when we change that? Does that actually... No, it doesn't do anything, so... Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Now, there is... Uh, that's for the uh, GPS. Does that work? Yes, that does. Uh, you can go and put in Raven. There we go. Okay, so there. Or you can go and put in the driver's plate if you want. You know, whichever you want. But you can't take it out. Oh, yes, you can. Sorry. You can take it out. Uh, now, over there, you can go and put in bits and pieces there. Like so. And up the top there, some more bits and pieces, you know, you can add in there. Uh, let's put on the shamrock. We need as much luck as we can get. And there is the other driver's plate and other bits and pieces. Some accessories that can go on there, like, uh, I don't know why the DAF accessories are in there, but anyway, I thought they would have been just for the DAF, but never mind. Uh, put on a hula hula, and let's put on that DAF toy. I actually like that DAF toy. There we go. I don't know what its name is. I can't remember. I know that the the Kenworth one is Kenny. Kenny the Kenworth. But I don't know what that DAF one is. Can't remember. Uh, and when, I, when I went to the Brisbane Truck Show, they gave us Kenny the, the truck book. Whatever it was. Yeah. For the kids. Alright, so let's confirm that. And that is as good as we're going to get. And we'll do a trade-in on the last mod. And let's see what it looks like on the outside. I'm hoping that the outside of it will actually look better. I think it's just crashed, actually. Has it crashed? I think it has. That's not good. Dear. Oh, man. I hate it when this happens. You know, you, you do a trade-in and it, it crashes your game and, and then that's it. I've got... No other mods in with this, guys. This is just this mod on its own. So, uh, when I do a test, when I do a mod review like this, this is how I do it. I just test it as is. Okay? No other mods are in there at all. And, unless it says, if it says, yeah, it's crashed. It's crashed. So, unless it says to, that, you know, you can put another mod in there, uh, I'll do that. But, uh, unfortunately, it hasn't done that. It didn't say to put other mods. So, I just left it. So, 
Well, unfortunately, this is unsuitable for this week's weekly drive. I do apologize, guys, that this is such a bad mod. Um, hopefully that it will get fixed in the future and we can rehab a look at it and it will be a lot better. Um, and yeah, look, guys, for those, for, if you're an actual modder and you're out there, none of the videos that I do, I do personally and you shouldn't take it personally. I do it to try and help uh, not only you, I, I do constructive criticism and I do try and do it so that uh, you know the community can just see what's out there at the moment and if good, bad, we take it the way it is and we just show people the way it is and that's it. And um, I do get a few modders that do come up to me and get very upset and I really don't understand why because I'm trying to help you and if you can't see that, that, it's, that it's help then don't bother. Well, guys, unfortunately, this mod is a bust. Um, I would like to say, if you'd like to see this in the weekly drive, please punch that like button in the ass. But unfortunately, you can't because it's stricken from the the weekly drive because we can't even get it out of the, the gate. Just a side note, guys, I did have to, uh, I did actually get this working eventually. Uh, I did have to buy it through the online and then take it from there and go and customize it in order to get to use it so uh, a plus there never mind but if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming then make sure you head on over to the junior senior gaming channel on youtube and check it out uh and but and while you're there why don't you hit that subscribe button but until next time don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and i'm 1010 on the side and remember game on